Welcome back. Level 85. We, well, I say we, but uh, I watched as Graham leveled like crazy. And what Inside are we at the now? spaceship. Yeah, we're in Bowery spaceship now. I'm as strong as I need to be. Yeah, we're, we leveled up a bunch of the characters so we wouldn't have to like stop in between for a while. Um, sweet, okay. So now, what do we do? We're like here to track down Bobby and beat him up, right? Uh, yeah. Whoa. There's this dude right here, beat him up. God, you just like demolished that guy. Yeah, I'm strong. <laughs> Do, 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 do. So what are you gonna do in here? Turn on stuff? Oh yeah. yeah. Turn on these three things. For each level. And Turn on the Brainiac symbol. There's, yeah, there's three levels to the ship. <laughs> you just dust them. Whoa, that's a turret gun. But like, you're like Buffy and they're vampires. <laughs> Taking them out one stake at a time. I wish it would make like the sound effect that uh, the vamps did on uh, Buffy when they died. That like. <laughs> so what does Bobby do? He's just his his father's clone, and he wants to release Majin Buu. He just wants to. Oh, yeah. so Majin Buu he wasn't his creation. No, it was his father's. Or sorry, it was his clones. The, yeah. Oh, you got a hand. Oh, I got gloves. <laughs> a hand. <laughs> Give him a hand. I can't. I don't want any of those. I don't want any. Oh, two ton wristband. Oh, I didn't know I had those. Only Gohan had them, I guess. That makes me gain uh, more experience. Might These, as well put them on. Oh, the the wristbands. I thought they were buttholes. It slows me down a little bit. Yeah, that it gets trained up. Not that it really matters, because you're, like, insanely powerful now. Well, right now, but... My playthrough of this game, I'm way more powerful. Well, yeah, but you're later on in the game. <laughs> yeah, but I... Yeah, I grinded forever. God, that must suck. I don't know. Is when I, I... I always think of it, because I'm a huge fan of Dragon Ball, it's like you have to train just like they do in the show to get better. Yeah, I get that, but, like... They should do for that, but it, game design, I guess it's stupid. Yeah, but. from a sh they should do it shorter or do it in a different way, because it's just like it's the door thing that really bothers me. It's like you gotta be a certain level to open a door. Like, yeah. what the fuck is that? Like, I can understand wanting to be stronger to fight guys because they're harder, but that's just like a choice. Like, you should be able to fight them weaker and it's harder. Yeah. Instead of just being like, oh, sorry, you can't get in here because I said so. Like, it's just strange. Sure. 96, Jesus. Mm. She still has like garbage in her entrance. I have sensu beans. <laughs> oh, the final button. Brainiac. Brainiac is summoned. Wouldn't that be cool? That'd be so rad. I wonder if they'll ever do him in like the, you know, like a live action Justice League movie or something. I think that'd be the best choice. Yeah, it'd be pretty cool. I'd be hyped on that. I freaking love Brainiac. It's my favorite DC villain aside from, uh, like, the obvious ones like Joker and stuff. But, uh, like, that's just like a big villain, like, like a big threat that you need okay, to just sleep for. So it's perfect. It's too easy, I figure. Just, uh, what, Vegeta's Vegeta all cocky. Vegeta but has, like, red hair. It's, like, brownish black. That's what, how they actually started drawing, coloring it, I guess, at this point in the show. It's supposed to be black. So Vegeta has to fight this dude. He looks familiar. No, I don't know he's why. He's just a soldier from Bobby. He was literally only in, like, a part of an episode. Something this about episode. Him. And Vegeta kicked it out. Because each stage, Bobby sends a fighter to fight. Mm -hmm. and Show the planet Zoom. Yeah. I was training at 400. Oh yeah, he's like all, all cocky because his planet is 10 times gra Earth's gravity, and he's like, I was training at 450 gravity just the other day and didn't break a sweat. 
which is insane, but you know. 450 times Earth's gravity that would crush you. I remember the first. Beat him one punch. <laughs> Vegeta! <laughs> the first time they did that in the show, that blew my mind. Like, and, like the way it was drawn with all the intense lines, yeah. too. It was like, oh my god, like they were being pinned. That was like, because cool. Goku could barely stand, and then, like, um, then he finally was able to master it. And then I got to the point where they were just like, yeah, it has to be like a thousand times gravity for us to even feel it. It's like, oh my I god. The highest is like 500 that Vegeta. Like, Goku gives up on training in that. Well, he just does other ways of training, but Vegeta's like, no. <laughs> gravity. Gravity. Vegeta's so cool. I feel like they could have done like a, a spin-off series with just him. Like him like leaving and going off and like checking out other planets and stuff, trying to become like the greatest fighter in the galaxy. That'd be kinda of fun. God fuck these potato heads. Yeah, they're kinda of like centaurans. Yeah, they do look like centaurans. Oh Vegeta is like the weakest one. At yeah. 86. Uh no. Well, Goku's the same. Oh, okay. You just make Gohan, like, super jacked. Because he was the one that had to enter first. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, I made him big. Big. Oh, fuck. Shield guy. <laughs> it's like, doesn't even matter. Grind his bones into dust. That guy looks like TN at first. It's like, whoa, why is he with the bad dudes? And he's dead at this point, isn't he? No. He just doesn't really fight anymore because when there's Saiyans on the planet, what's the point? Yeah. He can't win a competition. That's, uh, yeah. That's why I like Dragon Ball so much more. It was like, it wasn't really about oh, who had the most power, it was about who had the best techniques. Yeah. And it was about fighting and yeah. their skills. I. It's from the sounds of it when you've described Dragon Ball. I don't think I ever watched Dragon Ball much. But, um. I remember, like, the big shit, like, Uzaru for the first time and things like that, but, like, yeah. um, I like that the sounds of Dragon Ball more than Z. Z just sounds like a lot of, like, ah, <laughs> oh, yeah. like, Dragon Ball, like, they had to learn you. techniques and stuff, and in Dragon Ball Z, they have techniques, but it's really just the same techniques, with a, just with, with more power the behind end. it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Now I'm Super Saiyan 35. Got a teacup. But you don't want no teacup. It's insane how long Dragon Ball has become like this thing, you know? Like it's still relevant today. Yeah. Like those movies. Because there's Dragon Ball Super now. Yeah, and, and those dr movies are doing well, and like it's just crazy, like how like reinvigorating well, the, the are, fan base is. Or why uh, Super is a thing? Yeah, exactly. First, uh, well, not the first movie, but that 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 movie, the Gods and whatever the hell it was called, Battle of Gods. Battle of Gods, like that one, that was a huge deal. Like that was the first uh, Japanese movie to be made in IMAX, actually, and. Um, it's pretty cool. I haven't watched it, actually. <laughs> I keep meaning to check it out. Did I go left already? Yeah. I don't remember. Yeah, I think I went left already. Well, she's in food. Some rice balls. I like the idea of Vegeta walking around with just chicken legs in his pocket. Yeah. Especially because he, he's wearing tights. I think he did it in an episode, and, uh, like, he was eating chicken, and then ever since that, I was always, like, I always wanted my parents to, like, I just wanted to eat the chicken leg. I wanted to be like Vegeta. <laughs> oh, my God. Steak. Oh, there's a butthole. Or a uh, wristband, whatever. The steak looks that color, too. Look at his strength. Holy shit. No wonder he's just one-punching everything. That's your strategy with every RPG, isn't it? What? You jack up the strength so that you can just press one button and carry on the whole time. Well, it is good for me with my stroke hand. Well, yeah. 
but yeah, that's kind of how I've always done it. You just like to strong arm your way through. You, I've never seen you use a block button in any game ever. What other game do you mean? Like every game. Like lots of fighting games, lots of whatever it has blocks. I've never seen you block or shield in anything. You just fight. <laughs> just pure punching all the time. I was raised by Vegeta. <laughs> Yeah, I wish I would, um... Do you have the whole series on Blu-ray or DVD? I have season one on Blu-ray. I have the rest on DVD. Mm. I kind of want to... Part of me wants to, like, whenever, like, you talk about it or we've played some games for it, I'm always like, oh, sweet, I want to, like, try Dragon Ball, but it's so fucking long. It's just, like, it's so hard to, like, find the time to get into it because there's just too much to watch. Dragon Ball you want to watch? No, either one. Well, both, really, like... Ball and then Z. Ball is more like a children's adventure. Yeah. But it's it's cool though. It's all the characters. Well, yeah, and like I, I think it strikes uh, strikes me as more interesting. It strikes me as kind of like Avatar: The Last Airbender kind of deal. Where, where the hell is this one? It must be over to the right okay. or up top. Right. I've been that way. Or down the middle. No, the middle is where I just went. Oh. Just keep punching dudes. I'm sure you'll find an answer. That's how this works, right? It's I'm insane how much, you bur how much burgers do for you. Yes, yeah, I already did this. I already did left. I already did right. So where's the other one? Alright. <laughs> oh shit. Well next time I turn a bomb, we'll uh we'll push that last button. We'll figure out where the hell it is. 